We're checking in with the Cache Valley now. That heavy snow there today prompted an apology from the local schools. Uh, yeah, look at this video wow. of the experience this morning. That snow dumped heaps of fresh powder this morning, leading to dicey road conditions as you see this. Jonathan May has been live in Logan for hours now, joining us with the very latest. Jonathan. Well, Emily, Brian, as you can see here in northern Utah, we've been on the receiving end of some snowfall, so much so that the Cache County School District says this morning's weather even warranted a delayed start to the school day. I've come out here and pushed uh, one car already that got stuck and then we had to push it again because it got stuck about five feet later. Here's a look at the scene in Logan earlier today. You can see this group pushing a car out of the snow. The Cache County School District says the decision to hold a regular school day was made based on an assessment of conditions and roads at 5.30 a.m. But as the morning continued, they admitted the schedule in some way should have been adjusted for the storm. In part of a statement, the school district says, however, at that point, buses were on the roads and staff and students were already on their way to school. An apology was issued to our community with a commitment to review our process and determine how we can improve. Other residents in Cache County were also surprised by the snow. I woke up and looked out of the window. I thought that winter was over and it wasn't. Thorley says based off what he saw this morning, people should have stayed off the roads. But classes went on at Utah State University. I know a lot of other students that live far from campus as well and it's dangerous. You're, you're putting uh, people's, potentially their lives at risk, um, if not just, you know, putting them into an accident. Delay or cancel school can be a complex decision since the district is in a large geographical area and different weather affects different parts of that area differently. Live in Logan, Jonathan May, ABC4 News.